So why do I do this? You don't even know me like that. Are you past my time? Put you on my mind. That is a really good question. There are many different reasons why people or YouTubers make videos. Various different reasons. Some do it for the money. Some do it for the fame. Some for the fortune. Some just because it's a hobby that they enjoy doing. Why am I here? Why am I doing this? I have more than one reason why I'm doing this. I'm having fun. I genuinely enjoy making videos and I have a great time doing it. It's time consuming, it's hard sometimes, but I really do enjoy making videos, making content. It's a, it's a lot of fun. It's challenging sometimes because you don't know if the people watching you actually enjoy your content. Maybe it's something that's a big struggle in a lot of creators' minds and maybe that's something I'm struggling with. Maybe with the demons or something like it's just telling me, hey, you can't do it, you can't make it, you can't do anything. And then the other part of me likes to ignore that and and say that I can do this. Truth be told, I can. I'm pretty sure I can. It's just that this whole world is based off of like trends and pleasing the crowd and doing what they want you to do instead of doing what I want to do for my own channel, for my own life. I'm not enjoying it if I have to pretend and be someone I'm not and pleasing people for the sake of their entertainment. What am I doing here? Yes, I love to please. I love to make people happy. I love to make people laugh. I want to get that same effect on them for making them cry because like hear me out I want to make them emotional in a sense of I'm doing so good I'm doing such good deeds in my life dedication and everything involved with it that I make them cry happy tears not 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 miserable tears but happy tears Why else am I here? Why else have I been doing this for over four years? Technically, I've been doing this for even longer than that. I have, my first channel was in 2010. Technically speaking. But that channel didn't hit it off, it didn't do anything. I made three videos maybe. What else am I doing? Breezley is my channel. I made that channel. I grew it from scratch. I made it from scratch. From zero subscribers in 2016 all the way to 72 four years later. Most people that make YouTube videos give up after a certain while because they are not getting the same amount of views that they want or that they expect or they're not getting the same amount of subscribers that they want by now some of these youtubers gain millions of subs by now four years into making their channels sometimes it helps that you have a really big content creator that shouts out your channel and lots of people that follow them come to your channel. But I don't have that luxury. But that's okay because I 
enjoy doing what I'm doing. I enjoy making videos. I enjoy making content. If I didn't enjoy it, I would have been done by now. It's something that I take into and, and take into thoughts, and I always overthink, and I over, I stress a lot. I stress eat. I stress to the point where I don't eat or I can't eat. It changes a lot. It changes my mindset. The thing is, this whole world is confusing. It's challenging, and I'm trying. I'm trying to figure that out. I'm trying to make sense of all this and making sense of what I'm trying to trying to do you know there, I have a lot of ideas for my videos and I don't know like if they're good ideas or bad ideas or ideas that people enjoy maybe they maybe they might enjoy it maybe they they won't I don't know It's, it's very challenging to please the audience. It's very challenging and overwhelming sometimes. I get very little sleep because I gotta make a video and edit. And that's one of the many reasons why I haven't uploaded very much before. Many different reasons why a lot of times I would record videos, upload videos, and then suddenly disappear for about a month or two. Because I want to get sleep. I, 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 it's just overwhelming sometimes. But I want to I wanna change that habit and try to grow my channel. See, I want to hit you with the truth right now. I'm doing this. Not for the fame, not for the money. I'm not getting paid anyway. Right now it's a hobby. But I'm doing this in hopes of growing my channel. And I wanna help. I wanna help charity. I wanna help the children that have no home. I wanna help the children that are starving around the world. I wanna help my family. Because they've done more for me than I can even get them credit for. I feel like I haven't done anything for them other than being their son, being their brother, being their uncle, being their nephew, being their cousin. I feel like I haven't done much. And I want to do so much for everybody, including my friends. You know, they've been there for me through the hardest times, through the times that maybe even I would have given up on them and said you know what this is overwhelming I'm sorry I've tried my best being there for you I want to be there for anyone who's going through a hard time because I've gone through so much hard times and it's crazy now how old am I I'm currently sitting at 30 years old not sure what I want to do with my career you know YouTube will definitely be a, a choice for me if I want to make a career out of it and hopefully I do but also I've thought about doing photography, videography, aerial videography, x-ray tech. That would get in the way of my full-time job and I can't afford to cut hours to go to school because I have to pay my car payment and insurance and my phone bill. It's, it's, it's a lot of things to think about. I, I'm trying really hard to make the best I can with what I need to do. It's just, I don't know what I want to do with my life because like, with the minimum wage job I have, it's not doing anything, anything for me. It's stressing me out. I, I, I'm getting white hair, literally getting white hair, thinking, and just overthinking and stressing. What am I doing? That's a question I'm going to be asking myself for the rest of my life. What am I doing? What am I doing? Is this worth it? Is what I'm doing worth it? I've lived on my own with roommates, technically. So, I guess not on my own, on my own. But I've made videos back then. And sometimes I feel like those videos were really well. But the quality of the uh, the quality of the camera wasn't good. It was a three hundred something dollar camera, but I, I, I had motivation. I had good ideas. 
random ideas, you know, cooking a cat in the microwave and turning it into a pot pie. Where did I come up with that? <laughs> but now it's like to the point where I'm living at my family's house. And all I'm doing is filming in my bedroom, filming in the kitchen when nobody's home. I'm literally doing an interview, <laughs> a self interview, if that makes sense, because no one else is here right now. Because I don't feel comfortable filming around other people, even if it's family. I, I never get over that, and I wish I can. Because if I got over the fear of worrying about what people think about me filming myself and talking to the camera, maybe I can grow a little bit better on here. Maybe by now I'll have a, over a hundred, like a thousand subscribers and getting monetized because I have over a thousand subs. I have to have at least a thousand subs and over four thousand hours of watch time, I believe. But it takes time. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to upload more. I said that before and I never did. <laughs> point is, I'm doing this because I love it, and I'm not going away. I appreciate your time. Thank you for listening. We'll do what I gotta do. In the darkest hour, I wanna come for you, I know you've been alone. Oh.